All right, guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh. Today's video is part two on the 103 grain ELDX by Hornady and Winchester Stavall 6.5 powder. If you haven't seen my first video, uh, there'll be a little card up in the corner. You can check it out and I'll leave a link in the description. So be sure and watch it before you watch this because it'll make a whole lot more sense. So in the first video, to recap you, we shot 40.5 up to 42 grains and here is our target. And we saw no signs of pressure, so I went ahead and loaded up 42.5 and 43 grains at the overall length of 2.775. These 10 pieces of brass is the last 10 of this batch. So once I fire them, I'll have to uh, process this brass. I do, however, have a little bit more here ready to go. The ones without primers are ready to go. It's the same lot of brass. However, this has been fired. This is the second firing, and this has been fired three times. Same brass, but that's what we'll have to do. So we're going to shoot these, see how they do, and then we'll pick our best charges. As I definitely want to shoot this 42 again, and then we'll go out and we'll wrap this series up. So let's go out to the range. Okay, we're all set up. Savage Model 12, 243, SWFA, fixed 20 scope. Shooting 100 yards. I'll give you a view through the spotting scope. Okay, we're all set up. Got the camera mounted to the spotting scope. We're pointed down the range at 100 yards. We'll be shooting the two targets on the left. Our first group will be 42.5, and our second group will be 43. I'm just going to shoot these back to back, uncut, and then I always speed it up to 4x for you guys so it don't take forever to shoot it. Okay, so here's the setup I was using. I told you I was using the basketball backboard as shade for the chronograph, and it works pretty good. It's just you got to keep it moved every few minutes because the sun's always moving. Uh, before we go down range, I will give you a look at the brass and go over the chronograph numbers real quick. So the left is our 42.5, and the right is our 43. So the primers are not hammered flat yet. Still got some round edges. So perfectly acceptable. Our charges were 2904, 2904, 2873, 2879, 2867 for an average is 2885 standard deviation 17 and then our 43 grain charge was 2930, 2911, 2930, 2898, 2886 average of 2911 standard deviation 19. So as you see our average velocities as the charge goes up we had a little dip so our 42 was 28.99 and then we dropped down to 28.85 and then a slight increase up to 29.11 so there's definitely an accuracy node in that range there and when we go down and look at the target it'll definitely show that all right there is our target amazing groups today i will have to get them measured out on my ballistic x app here so give me just a second okay i'll put them on the screen we have a 539 and a 0.377. So I'll put the two groups on the screen here. You can take a look at them. 
and I think I'm gonna go back in and reload some 42s and maybe some 43s and we'll shoot a couple more groups. Okay, we are back out, ready to go again. I have 42 grains and 43 loaded up. The uh, powder measure was still set to 43, so it's just easy as throwing five charges. Uh, the state ball powder is, it's pretty good. It meters really well. So did a little modification to our shade. Got a little piece of foam up there, so that should work. So let's do this again. It's been about 10 minutes since my last shot. And that's the advantage of having the reloading room about 20 feet behind me. So let's see what we can do with these charges again. Okay, gonna do the same thing before. We'll do 42 on the top right and 43 right below it. I'll just keep the camera going the whole time. Okay, we're back in and I have retrieved the target, got everything measured out. So while we were at the target a while ago, we shot 42.5, excellent group at 0.539. We had 28.85 on the velocity, 17 on the standard deviation. We shot our best group of the day at 43 grains, 0.377, five shot cluster, ragged hole, 29.11. So after that, I went back in and we reloaded 42, which we shot the other day. And that is right here. That was after 20 shots, pretty much all back to back. So I thought I ought to give it another chance. And it opened up a little bit more today. Like I said, this is a different lot of brass. It's been fired a few more times, but we come up with a 1.035 and 2806 on the velocity. The other day it come in at 2899. So... This is why I don't always trust the Pro Chrono. I'll probably get the Magneto Speed out here in a day or two and get some more accurate velocities on this 43 grain charge. So we reshot it. That bottom flyer was my first shot. I don't think I was quite settled in my bag yet, but the other four stacked in there pretty tight, coming at 0.663 for the four shot group. We come in at 29.07 on the velocity and 29.11 earlier. So think that's a pretty good charge, a pretty good load. I am happy with it. So I'll give you a view of the target here. And here is a view of the target from the other day. So conditions are about the same. It's in the low 80s, um, just 10 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. So my uh, initial thoughts on this stay ball 6.5 powder is I like it. It meters excellent. It seems to be shooting pretty good. We're getting pretty good velocities. We did not hit any pressure today, and that's with our 43 grain charge. So the edges are still pretty round. So that's probably where I'll leave it with this video. Um, I don't have a whole lot of bullets left. That was a partial box. I think there was only about 80 rounds in it. So that'll give me a few more to load up and have on hand. But I will load some with 43 grains and probably put the magneto speed and get a five shot average to write down for uh, if we ever do any long range shooting or anything. I'll have uh, the data on hand. So this powder is pretty readily available. About all the online retailers have it. Powder Valley, um, Brownells, Midway, Mid-South. I believe I picked this up from Mid-South. So uh, this may be a, a valid replacement for like H4350, which is very hard to get. So going forward with this powder, I want to jump over to the 6.5 Creedmoor. I think I have some 140 boat tail hollow points. They're the not the ELDs, but the, just the other 140 grains. I want to try that with this powder and see what we can do. So don't know when I'll get to it, but that's going to wrap up today's video. Pretty happy with these results. Really excited about the groups today. Shot pretty good. So thanks for watching.